Okay, in this video we're going to look at dividing a line into a given ratio. What I mean by that is if we have a line and I want to divide it so that one part of the line might be two or three or however many times bigger than the other part of the line. Okay, we're going to look at dividing it in two ways. We're going to look at an internal divisor. That's where we have the line, the red line here, and the line is AB, and we're looking for a pint C that will ensure that one side of the line is so much bigger than the other side, um, the ratio basically. We look then at an external divisor, and that's where we have a line AB, and we're looking for a pint out here if we continue that line, so that this extra bit will be so many times bigger than the original line. We have two formula for that, here they are. There's one, sorry about the mess, but it's C, so the pint that divides that line into whatever ratio is HX2 plus KX1 over H plus K, comma HY2 plus KY1 over H plus K. What H and K are is basically the ratios, so here's the length of that line, there's the length of that bit of a line, but basically it's the ratio. And the same then with an external divisor. Um, h x2 minus k x1 over h minus k and h y2 minus k y1 over h minus k. Right. The easiest thing to do is to do this question and it should make sense. So find the coordinates of the pint which divides the line segment a minus 1 3 and b. So we're looking for the pint c that divides this line segment, A and B, into a given ratio. Okay, and I better write down that ratio. Um, say into the ratio two is to one. Okay, so let's just draw this line first. Right, let's just pretend that's A, that's B, so that's minus 1, 3, and 4, minus 2. Now I want to put a pint somewhere on this line that will divide this line AB into two bits. And the two bits will have a ratio of 2 as to 1. So basically one bit will be twice the length of the other. So I need a pint be somewhere here that will make sure that this bit here twice as big as that bit there. Okay, remember this is H and this is K. That's X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So often it's it's nice to sketch it out just to, to see what we're actually doing. Okay. Once I've sketched it out, I have my H now, I have my K, I have my X1, Y1, I have my X2, Y2. I slot it into this formula and the rest then is easy. So the formula we're looking for, first of all, an internal divisor here. So we take this formula. So it's C, C equals H X2 plus K X1 over h plus k comma h y2 plus k y1 over h plus k. We just slot in then our, um, our numbers. So h is 2 and x2 is 4 plus k is 1 and x1 is minus 1 and h is 2 and that's 1. Likewise over here we have h which is 2 and y2 which is minus 2 plus k which is 1 and y1 which is 3 and h and k then are 2 1. Working that out then, we have 
8 minus 1 over 3 and then we have minus 4 plus 3 over 3. Simplifying that we get 7 over 3 minus 1 over 3 and I would leave it at that. Okay, if you wanted you could change that to 2 and 1 third minus 1 over 3. Personally I would leave it here. So what that's saying is that point, whatever this is, C, is 7 over 3 and minus 1 third. So that's the point. Okay. Next one, we're looking for the external divisor. So I'll just tidy this up a bit. Okay, just get rid of this. Okay, so the external divisor, well, I just need to change this formula for the external formula, but the only change is minuses instead of pluses. Okay, so we have our minus 1, 3. my line B then is 4 minus 2 and we are looking for a point out here so next to our point C that will ensure that this here is twice as big as this that it's in the ratio 2 is to 1 right so now I already have my H it's there I already have my K I have my X1 I have my y1, I have my x2, I have my y2. Um, that's why I should always sketch it out. And I'm looking for this point here. Okay, so c equals h is 2, um, x2 is 4, minus k is 1, and um, x1 is minus 1 over sorry, um, 2 minus 1. And the next bit, h is 2, y2 is minus 2, minus k is 1, and y1 is 3, all over 2 minus 1. Simplifying this, we'll get 8 plus 1, because minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 is just 1, all over 1, minus 4, minus um, 3, all over 1. C equals then 9 over 1 is 9 and minus 7 over 1 is minus 7. So there we go. Okay. So what that is saying is this point here is 9 minus 7. Okay. Um, that's it guys. Thank you.